Welcome to What's New in Burbank. The new Canyon Grill at DeBell Golf Club is now open for breakfast and lunch. What had been known as the Clubhouse Grill had been closed for rebranding during the first couple of weeks of 2014. But as of January 13th, a slightly different look and a brand new menu are ready for your business. And if you'd like to be among the trendsetters for dinner at the Canyon Grill at DeBell, the first time to be served dinner there will be on Valentine's Day. That's February 14th for all of you hopeless romantics out there. The Canyon Grill at DeBell will be run by Tom Shaman, who owns Burbank Bar and Grill in downtown Burbank. Local photographers are invited to submit entries to the Burbank Library's Amateur Photography Contest. Sponsored by the Friends of the Burbank Public Library, the contest encourages photographers of any age to choose one of the eight categories and submit a photo. Photo turn-in begins on Saturday, February 1st and runs through Saturday, February 22nd. Pick up an entry form and rules at any branch of the Burbank Public Library or go to the library's website at burbanklibrary.com and download an entry form. All entries must be turned into the reference desk of the Burbank Central Library, 110 North Glen Oaks Boulevard, during regular business hours. Photos that are chosen for display will be exhibited at the Central Library from March 14th through April 16th. For more information on the Amateur Photography Contest, call 818-238-5600 or go to BurbankLibrary.com. The Workforce Connection, which had been relocated for a year, is back in its old location. Its permanent home, the City of Burbank Administrative Services Building, at the corner of 3rd Street and Olive Avenue, was closed for a year as it was getting an up-to-code upgrade in case of an earthquake, commonly known as a seismic retrofitting. The Workforce Connection is a free job resource center funded by a variety of governmental agencies and grant programs. Available to anyone with a valid ID and social security card are computers with Microsoft Office installed on them, internet access, telephones, a copier, and a fax machine for any job-related activities. The Workforce Connection is open Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and on Fridays from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. For more information, call 818-238-JOBS. That's 818-238-5627. Three City of Burbank employees were honored for their exemplary performance by the Burbank Elks Club during its annual Community Service Awards Dinner on January 8th. The Police Officer of the Year Award went to Burbank Police Officer Christian Diaz for his exceptional contributions to the community. Officer Diaz's commitment to public safety resulted in the arrest of more than 50 people for driving under the influence over the past year. Eric Rowley was named Burbank Firefighter of the Year for his firefighting skills, technological expertise, and willingness to take on several projects, including an instrumental role in the transition from paper to electronic reporting in the field. And the Recycle Center's Cray Hample was named Burbank City Employee of the Year for his tireless work promoting the city's zero waste goal. The Public Works employee also was one of the founders of Burbank's volunteer Bike Angel program, which collects and refurbishes used bicycles for distribution during the holidays. Here's your chance to get a behind the scenes look at the criminal justice system. Applications are now being accepted for the Burbank Police Department's Winter Spring Community Academy. Participants get to interact with officers from various bureaus and assignments as they learn about several operations including investigations, officer training, animal control, and SWAT. The nine-week course meets once a week and is offered in English, Spanish, Armenian, and to the hearing impaired. Applications may be picked up at the police department or downloaded from the police department website and should be returned no later than Friday, January 31st. The Public Works Department wants you to know there are three ways to recycle your Christmas tree following the holiday season. One, you can take it to one of three parks from December 26th through January 24th. Those locations are West Verdugo Park, Ralph Foy Park, and McCambridge Park. Two, you can simply leave it on your curb or alley from January 2nd through the 24th and city crews will pick it up. And three, you can place it in your green waste container with other yard trimmings just be sure to cut up the tree so the container lid closes. Remember, all trees are mulched or composted, so be sure to remove all tinsel, ornaments, and metal stands. Flock trees cannot be recycled. <laughs> if you're looking for a way to get your kids to exercise and have fun at the same time, Burbank's youth baseball and softball leagues are a great way for kids in kindergarten through ninth grade to get moving. 
Sign-ups for Hat Minor Baseball and Ponytail Softball Leagues are being held from December 7th through February 28th at the Olive Rec Center at 1111 West Olive Avenue, Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 9.45 p.m., Saturday from 9 a.m. to 4.45 p.m., and Sunday from 1 p.m. to 4.45 p.m. For more information about baseball and softball sign-ups, call the sports office at 818-238-5330 or go to BurbankCA.gov. I'm Peter Masurlian, and this has been What's New in Burbank.